Hi, my name is Scott Anderson. This is my extended review. I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. Normally, I'm a, always doing, you know, the highest tech things that I own, talking about, you know, how the impact of technology is, right? There you can see my R2-D2 robot. And there are a bunch of CDs. And there on the floor at my feet is my Astro. You can see wondering what I'm going to say. But that's not what I'm going to talk about today. Today I'm going to talk about the Grundig radio. So this is an interesting radio. It is a shortwave radio. Now, this is a product, and let me go ahead and power it on. And there you can see, you can hear it. Um, this is a shortwave radio. So it receives radio in the shortwave band. Uh, it, got, it does AM and FM also. So as you consider, you know, what is a radio and why would you still have a radio, Scott? But this lets you actually consider what's out there. And it, if you look and you see on the screen, it actually has a much more finite dial than what you would get in, um, in a traditional radio, right? If you're in your car and you're driving along, you know, you're not going to get this level of uh, control. So you can see in the band that I'm in right now, there's not a lot of radio in uh, the Washington, D.C. area, uh, particularly out in the boonies where I am. Uh, but you can see this radio now lets you catch any of the shortwave bands. Uh, it's from a company named Grundig. It has, as you can see, a headphone jack. You can see a power dial. It tells you the signal strength of the dial. You can tune to the exact. You can select the various bands that are available. You can tune the band to see where you're within the band, where the radio signal is. And you can listen to a lot of different things. Um, this is an interesting uh, solution set that you can use. I actually have two of them. I have an older one. I'll turn the original off. I have one of the older ones. Now, this is a much older version of the Grundig. This is the original, the Satellite 800. Uh, let me power it on so you can see it. And you can see it's got a much bigger speaker. Uh, and you can also see that it has down here uh, the same band. So it can do airplane. FM, shortwave, and AM. Uh, and then you can do uh, the two versions of SSB, uh, and then you can do an AM sync. And again, like the other one, you can control how close you are, how far into the band you are going. I believe right now we are sitting in shortwave, and there's not much. Normally you would get, um, ha you know, ham radio operators. Uh, notice this actually is, and as I said, this is the older version of the product. This actually still has the old-fashioned headphone jack, right? So if you look at the headphone jack there, you'll notice it is the old, uh, larger size. Whereas the other Grundig has, as you can see, the headphone jack is actually the newer 2.5 millimeter. And then it also has an input, so you can actually input an audio source into it if you wanted. But that's the two shortwave radios. They're interesting products to have. Um, my love of radio comes from, you know, many years ago when I lived in Thailand. Um, the only radio I could get uh, on my little AM FM shortwave radio that my parents bought for me, uh, <laughs> portelling of things to come. The only radio I could get was uh, radio or Armed Forces Radio out of Saigon. Um, if you ever watch the movie Good Morning Vietnam, it is actually set in Armed Forces Radio uh, Vietnam. Anyway, the Grundig series of radios. This is the 800. This is the newer version of the Grundig. Uh, great tools to have, a lot of fun, and uh, something that uh, I enjoy. Thanks for paying attention to my extended review.